I'm Pearl Jr. and welcome to BlackMediaReview.com. Disclaimer, please note by listening to my review, you may learn more about the storyline than so desired. Please listen at your discretion. Thank you. Review Black Snake Suckers. Oh, I mean, moan. Uh, you know, the new Samuel L. Jackson movie with Christina Ritchie. I'm telling you, it is the most racist movie I've ever seen in my entire life. They must really think black people are chumps. I mean, I am beginning to be convinced more and more and more that Hollywood executives absolutely hate black people. I mean, here you are, you have a little white girl who is just the most horrible, horrible character I've ever seen in my life. She's a tramp, she does drugs, white men beat her up and throw her out the car and leave her for dead. And guess who comes and saves her? A black man. He ain't got nothing to do. The black community don't need no help. Sisters don't need no help at all. As a matter of fact, he recruited two more brothers to come help her too. And one of them happened to be a child that she raped. How about that? Now this movie, in my opinion, is a zero, zero, zero. I went out and after the movie, I went out and I made a complaint. I wrote a complaint to the theater owners. I said this was the most racist movie I've ever seen. It is a promotion to return us back to slavery. It even had a really doting black woman that was kind of dogged at one point by Samuel L. Jackson. And then because the white girl needed him, he just leaves the black woman hanging. And then after two days, after he go out partying with a little white girl, he come and make up with the black woman. And I'm only so she can help the white girl. Then he gives the white girl away in a wedding because we don't need our men. Our men are there to serve white people. And I think this is a definite slap in the face to all the black men that are with white women because it says you will take the worst of the worst of the worst white girls that we have, ones that we throw away, you will love, honor, cherish, provide for them, protect them. And I'm telling you, this movie should have never been made. I really think Hollywood really, they, they hate us. I'm, I'm convinced John Singleton was a part of this, the guy who did Hustle and Flow. I mean, this is their movie. I mean, what were they thinking? Who was their market? I mean, I saw people walk out the theater. It was so insulting. She's in her uh, a, a little tiny cut off t-shirt with a Confederate flag on it, half the movie, you guys, and an American flag on the other side. And she's in underwear the whole time, chained like a dog. Who was their target market? Well guys, it's not just about what not to do, it's also about what to do. Make sure you order a copy of Black Women Need Love Too on Amazon.com because we can stop the degradation, but we also need to build. And I got a lot of suggestions in that book on how we can become more loved, more honored, more cherished, more provided for, and more protected as black women. Well, this is Pearl Jr. for Black Media Review, and I will see you next time. behind the scenes of the Michael Jackson trial was just as interesting as the trial itself. A lot of stuff that's going on at this point. This is his darkest hour. We're here for him. We love him. We support him 1 million percent. Michael's innocent. Most of the evidence that I've seen that he's guilty of sin. Michael Jackson pretty much is exactly what I thought he would look like. I think Michael Jackson looks like Speed Racer. I think Punk Nettin is the devil. Lots and lots of girly magazines. Yeah. 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 The father, Joe Jackson, shoots bubbles. I want to talk about this mama. Diane Diamond gets her butt up in the mix. I think he's very misunderstood. Very misunderstood. Very misunderstood. Peace out. Behind the scenes at the Michael J.
Jackson Trial, available at Amazon.com.